So you can find the re-enrolments um, within the centre re-enrolments section. To turn it on, you'll just use this button here. So turn it on uh, or turn it off and then turn it on. The parents will be able to see this on their app once you turn this function on. What it looks like on the parent app, um, I'll, I've got a screenshot for everyone. So in their app, if they pull across to the left-hand side menu, they'll be able to see their child and the re-enrollment for 2022. They can fill in this, um, once they click on it, they can fill in the form. And what happens is it goes into this section here and you can see we've got two entries. So we're using the demo site. The green one is one that has been completed, but that's the one that I've prepared um, for you to see today. So um, for Maggie Simpson, the parents have filled it in and so we can edit the entry here. We can see that the parents have required care for um, next year and they're asking for Monday through to Friday. Once you press edit, it'll show you what they're currently booked in for so Monday to Thursday and you can see that the parent has requested for an extra day. If you have the um, positions available, you know your centre best, so then you can process that and fill in and edit any of the sections as well. So you have to make sure that the child's name matches exactly what's on the system for the system to then pick up and add that to their booking. So once we scroll down, you can set the date as well. So depending on when you're ending your um, enrollments for your children, I guess the children that are going on to primary school, you can add the start date of when you'd like the new booking pattern to start. We've got for the re-enrollment year of to 2020. And if you know, then or the parent knows that they've selected for school, then that will come up here as well. Um, parents can also add additional information. So they might add it in and it'll pop up here for you. You can either update the re-enrollment um, just so that you can review it for a later time or if everything here looks correct, you can then um, confirm and send parents to um, an email. So once you confirm that, it actually updates the child's permanent days and sends an email to the parent to confirm that those are the days that um, have been approved by the service for them to attend from whichever date that you have selected. So what that looks like, which I will go into Maggie Simpson. So we're going to the room and current days enrolled. So this is the current days, which is the Monday to Thursday. We'll go into update room permanent days. And when I press that confirm um, button, it creates the new booking pattern to start from December 27th. And that's it. So that's pretty easy and that'll just update for you. And um, at the end of the year when you look at your weekly attendances, Maggie Simpson will be um, enrolled from there. And this is where you can um, use your utilization report as well. So once you've worked through all the children, um, we'll go back to the enrollments. So this one where it's white, it means that it hasn't been um, edited or confirmed yet. So then you'll just work through the list of children. Um, and then once you're done, then you can have a look at offering new families or siblings days and uh, start filling in your enrollments for the new year. So we'll have a look at the reporting as well and how you can use that. So knowing that you've already updated all your enrollments for the new year, we'll go over to the utilization report. So that can be found in reports and we'll go to, I mean, um, that's not so we can go towards December 27th because that's where the changes will occur and we'll get the report. Okay, so the week that Maggie Simpson changes over um, in the Caterpillar room, so you can see that um, she was in attendance the Monday to the, through to the Thursday. So now for the next following week, you can see that she's now 
there's an extra one. So there's one and two on the Friday. And that's where you'll be able to see overall each of the rooms, the positions you have and how many you have to offer to families. And that goes by days as well. So, and then you'll be able to see your percentages and, you know, your revenue. That's to help you plan ahead. So, you know, you've got the school leavers at the end of the year and then you'll have the school leavers. If you're a centre that allows fam families to attend the new year, um, I guess between January and February before they go, you can see the drops and things as well. Another um, great tool to use is the upcoming enrollment changes as well. So on this page, it actually shows you when the booking pattern for current children change. So whether you're doing transitions um, from one age group to the next, you'll be able to see it here. So with Maggie, she is moving from um, her current booking pattern to Monday to Friday on December the 27th. And that was at, entry was added in on September 13th. So for your um, rest of your children, they'll be listed here and you can see those changes and you can actually select the date as well. You can also print this out to show your team or at least um, I guess share with them when the children are changing their booking patterns as well. So they know when to anticipate children changing rooms. Um, it'll just come up as a form here that you can um, print. So you can change the landscape just so that you can see all the days. And yeah, you print that out and give it to each of the rooms and they can um, make sure that they know when the children are coming across. So the same, um, we've got also the enrollment forecast, which it works similar to this report, but it shows you when new children are starting. So especially, um, you know, in January, February, when you've got new children starting at different times of the weeks, depending on how your service operates, um, you will see that there here down here will be new um, enrollments coming up. So you'll know the children, the dates. We don't have that at the moment just for this site, um, but you can select the rooms as well. And you can also, it shows you the max capacity. So in this room, there's 10 and there's two children in attendance. So you still have eight positions left and that's throughout the whole week as well. So for this one, you can also um, print out and show you know, the new enrollments that you have starting this week for what days. And then so the educators are across um, who, to, who to expect and um, when they're starting. So 